I am super excited to be here with Dr. Nathan Baker, product lead for Azure Quantum Elements. How are you doing, my friend? Good, how about you? Fantastic, so for those that like look at quantum as this like super futuristic, super crazy, <laughs> tell us about what it actually means to do quantum. So quantum is a new way of computing. It helps us address some really hard problems that have plagued computing for a while, mm -hmm. specifically quantum mechanical problems in chemistry and material science. Mm -hmm. And for us, it unlocks a whole new realm of accuracy in those calculations. And, and that's amazing. So what is Microsoft's involvement in this space? Because I know we're, there's like a two-pronged approach. Tell us about that. Well, so we're building a quantum supercomputer. We've got Azure Quantum, an ecosystem of different quantum processing capabilities, but we're also building Elements. Elements is the platform powered by HPC, AI, and quantum that lets us solve problems in chemistry and material science today. So that's really cool because one of the things is I've always, I love quantum, by the way. I, I went down the physics rabbit hole, I was telling you that, but I was trying to understand what, why chemistry as a use case, and I think it kind of makes sense, right? It, it does, it's all about electrons, right? And at the end of the day, it's hard to think of a bigger space to have an impact than chemistry and material science. 96% of manufactured goods have their roots in chemistry and material science. And maybe more importantly, if you look at what's impacting society, climate change, the need for renewable energy, new drugs, clean water, all of those problems have solutions in chemistry and material science. So it is a perfect area for us to be taking high performance computing, artificial intelligence, and quantum computing and making a difference. And it's, it's like, I don't think people know it because I learned about this, like very simple uh, chemical processes that we need just to live, we can't compute over because of just <clears throat> how difficult it is. That's right, quantum is hard. It's not just hard to understand sometimes, it's hard for classical computers to compute on. That means when we try to solve quantum problems on classical computers, we often have to make approximations mm -hmm. and those approximations can hurt accuracy. Absolutely, so talking about scientific discovery and accelerating scientific discovery, how is quantum helping with that? So our goal is to accelerate scientific discovery using the Elements platform, compress 250 years of chemistry down into 25, and we do it by addressing four challenges. Three of them are technical. One is scale. The scale of, of computing, trying to understand, you know, looking instead of at a few chemicals, many chemicals for a new drug or a new solution, that's hard to do. That's something that the Azure cloud speeds up and allows us to scale out. It's also something that AI helps with. The next one's speed. We've shown that with some chemistry workflows, we can accelerate the problem by 500,000 times. That's taking a year and compressing it down to a second. That allows us to look at things we, we simply couldn't have looked at before. Accuracy, we've already touched on. Quantum computing comes in and allows us to relax the approximations that hurt accuracy in chemistry calculations. But the bottom line is actually productivity. It's not sufficient to develop all these cool technology tools without making them usable. And so Elements is built to have co-pilot and an easy to use platform that allows scientists to focus on science and take best in class tools and use them to solve chemistry and materials problems. I mean, that's amazing because I mean, folks, <coughs> chemistry isn't everything. It's, we're like sitting here walking things of <coughs> chemistry and so there's a ton of amazing things. So you mentioned something kind of slyly and quickly. You said co-pilot, tell me more about that. So Copilot is essential. As I mentioned, some of these tools are very sophisticated and we think about Copilot in helping out scientists in a few different ways. One of them is helping them find the information they need to do science. That's information retrieval, using natural language to get scientists answers. But what happens when you don't have the answer? You need to run a calculation. Mm -hmm. Copilot can help build out that calculation. It can take si tools that scientists maybe aren't familiar with, configure them, and put them together so scientists can focus on the science problem, the chemistry and materials problem, rather than you know figuring out a user manual for a new software package. I mean, it feels like I'm living in the future. Are there any customers or people doing stuff like this? Yeah, it's it's you know there's there's a lot of good examples. Maybe the one we'll talk about here is Pacific Northwest National Lab. We had a collaboration with them to discover new battery materials. We used the speed enabled by AI, and we took 32 and a half million materials and screened them down into 18 new materials, and one material that actually was a working, real-life electrolyte we could use in a battery. We could use it to power clocks and other things. That process typically would take 20 years if you use the traditional computing technique. This took less than a week. Oh, so, very my exciting good. story. This is exciting, and like I said, like, uh, like, uh, I struggled with quantum because I went down the physics rabbit hole, 
but physics and chemistry start to become kind of the same thing for sure at the end yeah. and being able to do this in a week would have taken 20 years is quite impressive yeah yeah we were so excited and the collaboration with pnnl was a really crucial part for making this possible well, uh, this has been amazing. Uh, I know there's a video coming up of you doing. Can you give us just a, a 10 seconds on what that is? Yeah, it's it's kind of a story about you know how those how this battery material came to life, how we worked with the experts at PNNL to make it possible, how we used paired their deep scientific expertise with the new AI, HPC, and quantum tools and elements to make it possible. This is amazing. Thank you so much for being with us, my friend. Thank you. And thank you for watching about Azure Quantum Elements. Let's take a look at the video. Imagine if every scientist had access to their very own personalized supercomputer. How much faster could they go? How much further would they get? At Microsoft, we're actually doing it. We're co-innovating with the world's leading scientific institutions like Pacific Northwest National Laboratory to reduce the impact of climate change, get to net zero emissions, and find new ways to create to store and use energy more efficiently. We're joining forces with Microsoft to explore this convergence of artificial intelligence, high performance computing in the cloud. And this is a shift that the world of science hasn't seen since really the dawn of supercomputing. And for us, it's helping us tackle these challenges in chemistry and material science that are embedded in the search for new energy storage solutions that the world needs. My name is Vijay Murugesan. I'm a material scientist here in Pacific Northwest National Lab. My research is mostly focused on designing next generation battery materials. Electricity generation needs to be renewable energy, but the renewable energy is not constant. It's sporadic, right? There's a lot of rain, or there's no sun, a lot of winds. Battery gives you an opportunity to store energy in a compact way and deliver it whenever however you want. Microsoft was really excited to work deeply with an organization that has strong roots in chemistry, material science, and how those disciplines relate to sustainability. Our goal was to work with PNNL to take the burden of exploring vast chemical or material spaces. Computational tools allow us to put the emphasis in the most promising parts of that discovery process. That's going to require a new way of doing chemistry that's computation first. Our team discovered a new electrolyte that uses 70% less lithium than shown in other industry announcements because it replaces part of it with the earth abundant compound, sodium. Azure Quantum Elements accelerated the initial phase of the discovery process. It took what would have been 20 years of computation and compressed it down into one week to identify the most promising candidates for later exploration. Battery has a multiple components. You are trying to put completely different type of materials together, and then you are asking them to work together as a synergetically. One part of the battery is called the lithium ion. Lithium is fast, and its ability to move even within solids is what makes lithium more attractive. But lithium is not something that you can easily go and dig it up. It's only available in certain geopolitical places. What the scientists have been thinking about is that, how can we make it to the next stage, right? You know, can we use something else that can work as good as lithium, but without the baggage of their environmental and safety issues? Tackling this approach through the traditional trial and error method is simply too time consuming. The ability to narrow down the playing field from millions of potential combinations of elements and structures to dozens in just months, something that would have taken decades. The acceleration aspect of this can't be understated. This co-innovation model has the potential to transform every discovery-based field. Chemistry and material science impact nearly all manufactured goods. So think of areas like pharma, life sciences, transportation, manufacturing, all of it is in play. What we're most excited about at Pacific Northwest National Laboratory in this partnership with Microsoft is the opportunity to accelerate scientific discovery, not just in chemistry and material science, this is just where we're starting. When you think about the convergence of artificial intelligence models 
coupled with high performance computing in the cloud, running alongside of co-pilots that are trained in specific scientific disciplines and having all of that come to bear at the disposal of the individual researcher or the scientist, that's a paradigm shift. How cool is that? Thank you so much for being with us, Nathan. Thank and you. make sure to learn more about Azure Quantum Elements. We have some links below to learn more about it. And if you want to sign up, we also have another link. Make sure you follow that. Thank you so much, friend. Thank you.